Welcome back to Gruber Motor Company. Last week we received two more roadsters that were bricked, which in the roadster world means the batteries were dead. When that happens, the cars generally are locked, or in this case, we had to uh, put dollies on it. And uh, what we then do is we start putting them on life support, which is an attempt to keep the battery alive so that we can work our magic and actually recover the battery pack. Within 48 hours, we had this car to the point where it was now able to take a charge from the Tesla charge port door. Typically when a car, a roadster is bricked, you can't do what we're doing here, which is inject voltage into the charge port and get this amber glow. So when we get this amber glow with a Tesla roadster charge cable, we now know that we have recovered this battery pack. But in this case, there are still some problems in the pack that occurred while it was bricked. So let's take a look to see what's going on there. And here we have a laptop connected to the vehicle management system. You can see the CAN signal streaming in here. And what we're looking at here is there are nine sheets in a Tesla Roadster. Each one of them is represented with this gray line. And it looks like sheet number eight has a brick, brick number one, which is lower than the rest of the bricks. In fact, all of the rest of the uh, bricks are at 3.8 volts and the minimum is 3.6. This is enough to cause a problem with the battery safety management systems in the Roadster. So even though we're able to charge this car now and get it back to a certain level, we're going to have to do a battery drop and we'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. So this car is very unusual in another regard and that is it is what's called a validation prototype. Tesla actually during their formative years had a couple of vehicles that were really never supposed to enter or get sold and go out into the field. One of those was EPs or engineering prototypes or evaluation prototypes. These were cars that were typically taken through all of the worst case scenarios. And validation prototypes, same thing. This was a car that was a test mule basically. The way you can tell is in the VIN, it actually has a V buried in the VIN number. Since this car predates even the Signature 100 and Signature 250 cars, which all received a carbon fiber plaque, this car has no plaque at all because it preceded all of those cars. And let's show you what a Signature car carbon fiber plaque looks like. We happen to have Roadster VIN number 5 here, which literally was the fifth Roadster ever built. These cars were also very special in that they uh, were typically sold to investors, um, people that were on the board of directors, or VIPs, venture capital support, and um, dignitaries, and oftentimes celebrities as well. All around early adoption, yes. There were um, celebrities uh, such as um, George Clooney, who had VIN number eight uh, of 100. Uh, Matt Damon had 44 of 100, and the list goes on. Um, we have a uh, VIN 71 here. That's over on the other side, though. So since Tesla Roadsters are beginning to go collectible status, a car like this, a validation prototype that was really never supposed to have been released and sold, will at some point be extremely valuable because it, very few of these exist out in the market. So since this one is going to have to go through a battery pull, let's show you what happens when we actually have to take the battery out of the car. This is the battery pack with 6,831 lithium ion cells. And if you remember when we looked at the laptop doing the diagnostic work, sheet number eight was actually having problems. And uh, sheet number eight in this car, three, six, seven, oh, let's do this again two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this sheet in that orange validation prototype is going to come out and what we're going to do then is put it on a workbench and we're actually going to isolate the one cell that is resistive in that brick. And that's going to be a function of identifying which cell is defective in sheet number eight and then snipping it out of circuit.
And you can see that the cars in this area, the roadsters are all up on lifts and the battery packs are pulled, getting the same type of repairs that validation prototype number 28 is going to get here. Thank you for joining us at Gruber Motor Company. Make sure to check us out on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and uh, see you next time.